Welcome to this five minute tutorial about cryptocurrency investigations. In this video, we're going to talk about how to trace cryptocurrency transactions and potentially identify any cryptocurrency exchanges involved or even the wallet holders using Multigo. Cryptocurrency is a digital type of currency that can be used to purchase goods and services, but uses an online ledger called blockchain with strong cryptography to record its transactions. Ever since the emergence of cryptocurrency, law enforcement, as well as financial institutions, have observed a rise of cryptocurrency involvement in criminal activities. In 2019, over 790 million US dollars worth of Bitcoin were spent in the dark net. Ransomware attacks, drug dealings, terrorism, and money laundering are just a few household names where cryptocurrency is typically present. You would think that it's because of the secrecy of cryptocurrency that makes it perfect for criminal activities. However, unlike with traditional banking, all transactions on the blockchain are public, traceable, and permanently stored in the blockchain for anyone to observe. The difference is that the addresses sending and receiving coins are not linked to any specific person. So how can we trace these transactions? There are cryptocurrency forensics and intelligence databases like CypherTrace, which financial agencies or investigators can utilize to query and monitor cryptocurrency movements, risk of fraud, and identity attribution to high-profile or suspicious wallets. There are also databases like blockchain.com, which allows investigators to access cryptocurrency transaction history. Integrating these databases with link analysis tools like Multigo, you can easily trace multiple transactions coming in and out of multiple addresses in a visualized graph. Take Bitcoin, for example. We start by extracting any Bitcoin address found in the HTML code of a phishing website or pasting the known address we acquire from an email, social media post, or any sort of lead into Multigo. From this address, we can go ahead and query all inbound and outbound transactions using the two inbound transactions and two outbound transactions transforms. The transactions will be mapped onto the Multigo graph with information like the amount of Bitcoin and date of transaction. To understand source and destination of the transactions, we can further query to obtain the source addresses of inbound transactions and the destination addresses of outbound transactions using the two source address and two destination address transforms. These address entities will include details like the number of transactions, total amount of received and sent Bitcoin, and the current final balance. Repeating this step, we can trace the movement of certain funds and identify patterns of illicit payment and money laundering by exploring and enriching the link analysis graph. If you're using the CypherTrace integration in Multigo, you can obtain the Bitcoin wallet of an address using the two wallet transform, and if the attribution is available in CypherTrace, identify the potential owner and location of the wallet using the two details transform. CypherTrace also provides risk score assessment that indicates whether an address or transaction has been involved in or associated with criminal entities or illicit activities. And that wraps up our five minute tutorial about how to trace cryptocurrency transactions using Multigo. Download Multigo now and start investigating Bitcoin transactions using the free blockchain.info data integration. To query advanced Bitcoin intelligence, as well as other cryptocurrencies like Ethereum and Litecoin, try out a CypherTrace data bundle. To learn more about cryptocurrency investigations in Multigo, visit our blog for detailed tutorials and watch our webinar. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, leave a comment below, and share this video with your friends, colleagues, and teams. Happy investigating!